Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. I am back in the building for my first weekly haul video of June and it looks like it's going to be a massive haul video. I was not expecting all this stuff in this week. It is a lot as we can see. I actually pushed the video back from three to six because I was waiting on another package and when I opened the door, there were three packages there. So I have a lot to get through today. So it's gonna be fun and we'll see what we have. Now I know there's a couple things in here that I really want because there's a few things that I actually ordered for myself because I needed a couple things. So there's gonna be a few things. I know what it is and I really, really want them. So, all right. Shout out to uh, Big Up to Tim Windsor in the house. He, uh, he told me to check my PayPal and I can see that Big Tim Windsor hit me up with the uh, with the offline super chat. Big ups for him for that. So let me give you a uh, let me give you something here, Big Tim. Let me see. Let's give you. I like this one. Let's give you this one here. That's a tranquilizer gun. They say it can puncture the skin of a rhino from a hundred. Ow! That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, hold on a minute. Something's going on. Let's see if I can get my, my thing back. There we go. There we go. All right, here we are. We're back. <laughs> Shout out to Big Tim in the building. Thank you so much for the PayPal. I really, really appreciate it. I, uh, I love the support. For all of you who know, I just shipped out prizes uh, like two days ago. So anytime I ship out prizes or I have prizes to ship or just anytime really, I really appreciate all the support, whether it be through Super Chat or PayPal or Venmo or Cash App or whatever it is, feel free to hit me up however you want and, uh, and, and support the channel. I really do appreciate it. So, and anybody who gives me a Super Chat, I'm gonna give you a little video meme of some sort to say thank you for it. So, much appreciated. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. We have uh, we have Mendel's in the house. Mendel's photography says, "Hi, Larry. Long time since I've caught you live." That is true. We have Sandra Lott in the house. Says, "Hello, Larry. Big ups to you, Sandra. I see you in the building. You know what? I have a lot of stuff to go through, so I'm gonna get started right away and and get through some of this stuff here. So, um, you know, as I do, I open up my bags first, but." I'm gonna open up this box here because I know what this box actually is and this box is gonna help me through the rest of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up first here and, uh, and get this thing going. And let's see if I can get this thing, uh, see if I can get this box opened up. And let's see, let's see here. There we go, set that off to the side. Get, oh, some popcorn in there falling out. Some shipping popcorn. So. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this out of here. And here we have it. This is it. This one is going to help me for this video. This right here is a Boker knife. This is, I believe this is the Boker, uh, Boker Plus Strike. And uh, let me so, let me go ahead and just show it to you. So first things first, let me take this knife and let me close it up so I don't accidentally cut myself. This is going to be the Boker Plus Strike right there. We can see that, that is the knife. And let me turn this light on over here, see if I can get it a little bit. There you go, now you can see it a little bit better. So that's gonna be the knife right there. Let me go ahead and take this thing out. And uh, for all of you who know, I like pocket knives. I'm, I'm a pocket knife dude, I like pocket knives, I like wallets, I like cameras, I like all that good stuff. So anyways, here it is. That's it right there. This is an automatic knife. And so there's a little button on here. You may see that right there. Let me see if I can show you. That's a little button right there. And you push that. Oh, I think there's a there's also, also a safety lock on here. So you may see right there. Let's see, you may see that little switch right there. Let's see if I can get that. That's a little safety switch. And there's a little red tab in there so that you know when it's locked and unlocked. So when it's on red, it means it's ready to fire. You push the little button and boom, you can see how that thing flies right on open. And then you can uh, and then you can push it right back there. So you just hit that again. Oop! I accidentally hit the box. Let me do it again. So you hit it right there, and boom! Just like that. You can see there, it has a uh, it has a nice blade on there. It's sort of a buoy shaped blade. This thing has a uh, it has D2 steel on there. So you may be able to see on there where it says. Uh, you might be able to see on the blade where it says D2, but maybe not. And then you just close it up, and you're ready to go. So whenever you need this thing open, you just hit it. 
and boom, it flies right on open. And it's so smooth. So, but this is gonna help me for the rest of this video because as we see, we have plenty of boxes to open up here. So I'm gonna set this off to the side, but let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can, uh, if I can find this on the website. And uh, look at this, Evil Witch says, I knew it, it's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. We have Pedro says awesome knife. Thank you so much. All right. Let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can actually pull this up on their, uh, on their website and find it. And let's see, let's, uh, let's see if I can pull this thing up and find this knife so I can show you guys what this thing, uh, what it looks like and what it costs and all the specs and all that good stuff. So in case you guys want to pick one up, on your own and let's see if I can uh let's see if I can actually find it. I see the order, but I don't know. Nope, that's not the right one. Let me see. Let me go to the next one here. And let me find this one and this is going to be the All right, but it's not let me link. All right, so I'm going to have to see if I can just search for it right quick and then uh and then show you guys. So all right, let me go ahead and open up the, uh, let me show you my web browser right quick here. And so here we are, this is it. This is, um, I bought it from a place called Blade HQ and it is the, uh, it is the Boker, it is the Boker um, Plus, the Boker Plus Strike. And let's see here, there we go. The Boker Plus Strike and that's it right there. The Boker Plus Strike with the automatic it's automatic. Now I got this, this is a great thing. This thing actually, you can see there, it's normally $79.95. They have it on sale for $64.95 and I actually got this for $39.99, I think it was, yeah. Because I bought it over a Memorial Day when they had a sale. And so, um, so I was able to get it for much cheaper. But you can see it has an overall length of like 7.8 uh, inches. Blade length is um, is 3.25 inches. It has a cutting edge of 2.3.2 uh, inches and it has D2 steel, um, you know, just all this good stuff, flat grind, it's black, all that good stuff. So you can check it out. It weighs about four and a half ounces. And uh, yeah, anyways, it's an automatic knife, push button open. So yeah, this is a pretty nice knife. I really like, um, I really liked what I saw on the website. It feels really good in my hand. It feels nice and snappy when it opens up. So I think I'll be very pleased with it and I can do some nice unboxings with this, uh, with this knife here. So yeah. All right, let's see here, let's see here. All right, we have a few other people in the house. I see that made it. Uh, we have Tom McCann in the building, Cherokee Rose has made it. So we have a few people that have come through. All right, let's see here, let's open up. Uh oh, I'm dropping boxes off. I have so many boxes, I'm dropping them off the table. All right, <laughs> let's set this stuff over here and um, we'll set that right there. Let's get this one open and see these bags are always easy to get open so let's see what we have in this bag because i don't know i don't know who this is from oh this is great this is perfect because this is another one i actually ordered for myself and i wasn't sure what this bag was going to look like this is a this is a patagonia this is a patagonia atom sling so you might be able to see that this is the atom sling and it is a, it's a sling bag right there. And as you can see there, it has a little pocket and some padding on there. And this thing, it goes, you put that on so you can, so you can just sling it all around yourself. So if you're going somewhere, you have all this, uh, you can put stuff here. Maybe you put a phone here or a wallet or some money in there. So you have something right up front. And then if you want whatever's in your bag, you just turn it around and then you have access to it right here. But it's nice and small so that you can take all kinds of stuff with you that, but not having a huge uh, backpack or anything. And so I wanted something like this because I sometimes I go out, I don't wanna take a whole bunch of this stuff. Like I just wanna take like a GoPro or a 360 camera or something. This is gonna be a nice bag that's gonna help me uh, take just a few things with me. It has a little sleeve in there where you can put like a tablet and then it has another sleeve in there where you can put like your regular stuff in there. So yeah, I'll see how this thing works out. Um, I caught it on sale at REI. I forgot how much it was. I think it was like $59. And then I had a, I think I, then I had a discount for like the anniversary sale. And then I had another like 
18 or $20 off or something like that for the REI rewards. So I only paid like, I think I paid like $20 or something like that for it. So anyways, has another little pocket up front here so you can put some more stuff in there if you need to. So um, it also has a little handle right up top so you can hold it on top if you like. So yeah, it looks pretty nice so far. So shout out to Patagonia. Um, this I did get this on REI site. Let me see if I can... Um, let me see if I can pull up um, REI's website and show you guys the uh, the actual thing. So it is the, let's see, this is the Atom Sling. And let's see if it shows up on here. Yep, there it is. All right, let me see if I can pull up in their website. Let me see if I can bring this up for you there. And that's it, that is the Atom Sling. And let me get rid of that. We can see here it comes in different colors. You can get it here in this color. I'm not sure what color that is. I think that's a, well, let's see. I, I got it in black, but you can also get it in a navy, which I actually didn't see this color when I ordered it. If I had seen the navy, I might have actually gotten the navy because I have a number of black bags. Like a navy bag might have been kind of fun. Um, and then they have this color, which is uh, like a Hawaiian pineapple color. You can even see that it has like the pineapples uh, in there, I think it is, right? Or maybe, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's not pineapples, I don't know what that is. But anyways, it's a sort of a fun festive color, a little bit too much for me. It's Saffron Canyon Hike, they call it. But I think I would have liked the, na the navy right there, but um, but I didn't see it when I, when I was ordering, so I went ahead and got the black. So yeah, anyways, there you go. Um, we can see here, that it's 59 bucks, so if you if you catch them on one of their sales, you might be able to get this for a cheaper price. But uh, yeah, but there you have it. And, and as always, I'll leave links to everything down in the video description. You'll probably see me wearing this in some videos because I'm gonna it's summertime is rolling around, it's getting hot, so I'm probably gonna do some vlogging, get outside a bit more. And since it's so easy to take nice small cameras with me. I'll probably grab that, throw a GoPro or, or a DJI camera in there or something, take it with me and go do some vlogging. So it should be fun. All right, let's see, let's open this bag here. And you guys, if you have a box in particular that you see that you want me to open, let me know which box it is so I can open it up. I usually like to get the bags out of the way first and then you guys can pick whatever boxes you want me to open up. So we'll, we'll go through that, so yeah. All right, all right. I want to know. I want to know. Besides Tim, who's gonna be my next super chatter? I'm curious. Who's gonna be my next super chatter? And and what video meme do you want? So, all right. Let's get this one open here. Let's hit this up. Ah, ah, there we go. I tell you, this plastic boy. They hit this plastic is strong nowadays. Oh. <laughs> This is funny, I'm like hitting, like my first three are all products that I actually ordered myself this week, because I, I thought this week I did a little bit of shopping for myself. There were a few things I wanted, so. Um, I ordered some Crocs, and some of you may remember that I ordered some Crocs um, probably about a month or so ago, and I've been wearing those. Those are kind of cool, I like them. The, I like the color of them. Let me see if I can grab them. They have like this sort of cool, sort of funky, like uh, looks like it's paint splotches on there, which is kind of fun. I like them, but they, uh, I wanted some of the kind that are actually lined with, uh, you know, they have the sort of lining there. So I bought some of the lined ones. And again, I was able to get these for, uh, on sale. So, um, they had a Memorial day sale where you were able to get, I think these were like 30, 40% off. And then I had another discount. So I ended up paying, I think it was like 20, 25, $28 for them, something like that. So it wasn't too bad. All right, let me see if I can um, let me see if I can actually find these ones as well on here. I think I bought these. I think I ordered these directly from the Crocs um, the Crocs website. And let me see if I can um, let me see if I can find them. And I don't know. Let me see. Am I logged in? If I'm logged in, I can just find my orders, and then I can tell you what I show you what they are. But I am not logged in. So let me see. Let me find the, the, uh, let me see if I can, let me actually, let me just pull open the, oh, I think they're right here. All right, let me pull them up. Let me show you. So here they are. These are the Banyan lined clog. That's them. And they're lined and you can get them in all, you can get them in a couple different colors. You can get them in black. You can get them in navy, which is what I have. And then you can get the white ones. So 
There's all kinds of other colors you can get too, but for this particular uh, model, they come with these, uh, they come with these different ones there. So, and obviously there's different sizes for men and women. So I ended up getting the 12. I probably, I'm not sure if I should have gotten the 13. I generally wear a 13, but sometimes when I wear like shoes that are slip on shoes, I, I sometimes the 13 is a little bit too big. So I got a 12, but we'll see how it, we'll see how it fares out for me. So. Um, but anyways, these things are normally, you can see normally they're like 59 bucks. So I was able to knock off about half, more than half price actually on these and, uh, and get the price down to about 20, I think it was about $25 or something like that. So yeah, shout out to them. I will leave a link to them down in the video description and, uh, and I'll have to try these things. Actually, let me just slip them on my feet right now. Let me just see how these things feel. And whoo, 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 whoo. oh, that feels so good. Ooh, those fur line things just feel good on your feet. They feel fantastic. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Big ups to Crocs. And whoever thought about putting that Sherpa line stuff in there, I love it. Man, I used to love rocking my Uggs back in the day and I love rocking them now because they feel fantastic. So, all right. And let's see, let's move on to the next one. Let's see, somebody said, Tim Windsor said, uh, bottom box, you're right. My right, this bottom box, okay. <laughs> oh boy, people always have jokey jokes. They always wanna go for the stuff on the bottom, you know? All right, this is cool. Gives me a chance to open my, uh, my new knife. There we go. All right, let's see here. This thing is nice. That tip is super stabby. I have to be careful with that thing because that thing is super stabby. And this knife is, is man, it comes out of the factory, razor sharp, so. Shout out to uh, shout out to Boker. Now, one thing I do have to get used to is this knife is not really a uh, a one-handed closing knife. Like you could try and do it, but there's a lot of tension on there, so it's not really a one-handed closing knife. Whereas with my Benchmade, uh, my Mini Freak, I'm used to being able to close this thing and open it and close it one-handed really quickly. So that that's opening, having to close it with two hands is going to take a little bit of getting used to. That's all I'm saying. So. All right, this is the, no idea what this thing is. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at this. This is kind of cool. Wow. This is a DVD player. Look at that. A portable video player. Huh. This thing is a, vo a portable video player with a 270 degree uh, swivel screen and Wow, look at that. It is the it is the YD uh, YD155. It says the Wonton, the Yoton best companion on your road trip with your family and friends. And uh, this is a portable video player. That looks really pretty doggone awesome. Let's see if we can find this. Let me see if I can pull this up. I don't know if there's a it did come from Amazon. Let me see if I can pull, let me see if I can scan the barcode on here and bring this thing up. I think I'm gonna do a proper review of this. So I'm not gonna open it right now because I think I wanna actually do a, uh, a proper review of this thing. Let me see if I can get this thing in, in, the, in the camera. Let me see if I can get this thing in focus. And I'm not having any luck right now. Uh oh, I might have to break out my iPhone. Let me see, nope, nothing. Oh. Android, are you failing me now? If, if Apple fails me, then I don't feel bad. Then I know it's just an issue with, uh, with the barcode. But if Apple gets this, then I'm gonna be like, man, Android, you failed me again. And I don't see anything happening yet. Let me back it up a little bit. No, nothing. All right, well, Android, you didn't fail me. I think it's just the barcode is failing me. So. I don't know, unless there's a different barcode somewhere. All right, well, let's go old school. Let's go old school. Let's just bring open my, um, let's bring open my Amazon page here and let's search for it. So let's go ahead and bring, let's see, let's bring that open and hold on. Let's see if we can bring open the web browser there. There we go. And now let's search for it. This is going to be the YD155. And it's definitely not a bread maker. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I need to add the. Uh, maybe I need to add the uh, the brand name, the Y O T O N. And let's see if it now brings it open. And so, no, 
I'm still not seeing it. I am still not seeing it. That is, uh, that's unfortunate. All right, let me just, let me, uh, let me go ahead and, um, oh, there we go. Yotam portable DVD player. All right, let's see if this is going to do it. And there it is. No, that's, that, is this it? This can't, it's 17 and a half inches? That, this thing isn't 17 and a half inches. They make one that's 17 and a half inches, but this one, no, this must be like the 12 inch screen. So this is, well, I don't know. It says the dimensions are 15 inches. This might actually be it. This might actually be it, but I'm not certain because I don't, the barcode isn't scanning on here, but you can see here, you can get this for $69. You can see this one has a set, it's 17 and a half inches, portable DVD player with 15 and a half inch swivel screen for the car and kids, four to six hours of working time with built-in battery, dual uh, stereo speakers, USB, SD, AV, audio gamepad support, uh, Not does not support Blu-ray. That's unfortunate. This would be really, really dope if it had Blu-ray, but it still looks like it's pretty cool anyway. So, um, but there you have it. You can actually uh, plug this into your TV and then you can, uh, you can have it to your TV. You can take it on the go if you're driving there, obviously. You can set it on a, on a table and, and view it. So yeah, kind of cool. And there you go. You can see some of the connections. You can plug in a USB, an SD card. So if you want to play something from, a, you know, if you want to play a video from an SD card or USB, it looks like you're going to be able to do that as well. So very cool. And let's see here. Let's go. And there it looks like there's another one here. This looks like a 12 inch one right here. It looks like they have a 12 and a 9.5 inch one. And I'm, I really wish I knew which one this one is, but um, I can't really tell. I think it might have been that first one. Yeah, I think this one might be, I think I might have the first one that was the 15 inch on there. So yeah, but they do make several of them as you can see there. So, all right, shout out to them. Let's, uh, let's move on. I'm gonna figure out which one this is and then I'll leave a link to it down in the video description so that you can check it out. But it looks pretty cool so far. Um, and I'm gonna do a proper, um, I'm gonna do a proper unboxing and, and review. I'll probably, I'll probably go to, uh, I'll probably walk up to, to uh, the grocery store over to Redbox and go grab myself a DVD so that I can actually play it. Cause I'm thinking like, I don't, do I have a DVD that I can even use? I, I, don't, I might have some, but I think I, I think I like got rid of all my old DVDs a while ago. But I'll have to check. There might be some in a box somewhere. So, all right. Let's see, let's see. Sandra says, pineapples is for swingers. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That maybe that's a thing there. So, all right. Pedro says, I like Crocs. They're comfortable. They are super comfy. It is hot in this room. Boy, I turned the air conditioner on, but I should have turned it. I should have turned it a little bit more. Evil Wish says, do people still have DVDs? I don't, I guess people do. They're still selling them. So I guess people are still using them. So, you know, I guess people are still using them. So, oh, look at that. Looks like I got a super chat. Looks like we have Mendel's Photography says, Super Chat, $2, Mendel's Photography for an amazing, awesome video player waiting for review. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. And let me give you a, uh, let me give you a video to say thank you for it. And uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's find one that, uh, let's see. Where is this one? I'm looking for one that I like here. If I can find it. This one always makes me crack, crack up. So this one right here. I like this. Yo, yo. So I like that one, boy. I love that movie is fantastic. If you guys have not seen that movie, definitely go check out that movie. It is just so funny. And um I think the dude that co-starred with him in that movie, what was his name? Miles Teller. I think he's in the new uh, Tom Cruise, uh, the new Top Gun Maverick movie, uh, Maverick. So um, I haven't seen it yet, but it looks like I think you can. Uh, I think um, I think he's actually in that movie. So, anyways, let's see here. Oh, look at that! Mendel's photography says uh, I only use DVDs in my house. Look at that! See, there you go. People are saying that they still use DVDs. Uh, Gregorio says, my DVD player is Toshiba. So there you go. We have two people in a row 
representing the DVD crew. So shout out to you. All right. Well, this might be an interesting video for you. So, um, all right. There, there we go. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, let me move on. And let's go to, uh, let's see here. Let's go with this. Let's go with this box right here. I don't know what this is, but it's from the post office. Let's see. Uh, let's see what this is going to be. I just love that. Let me do it one more time. Just, just for fun. <laughs> That is just a lot of fun right there. Let me let me cut away from myself. This blade is just like super stabby. That that sharp point, boy, it's a little scary. It's super aggressive looking. So that thing looks fun. I don't know if I'll carry this knife with me too much. That thing looks a little frightening. Like this thing looks very nice and and you know gentlemanly. This thing looks like this thing looks like an instrument of war. <laughs> so all right, let's see what we have in here. We have some seal stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is great. Oh, I was looking forward to this. They told me it was coming. And this is, if I can pronounce the name right, it's, it's, it says, it's, it looks like AT, AT Alien. It looks like, like, Atelian? Atelian? Ateon? I think it's, Atleon, Atleon maybe, Atleon time-lapse camera, starter kit in black. But this is it, this is the, uh, that is the starter kit right there. And this is a time-lapse camera. I'm gonna do a full review on this one. They told me they were shipping this. I'm actually excited for this one. And let me see if I can pull this up. I want you guys to see this, it looks super cool. It's a dedicated time-lapse camera that looks like it's gonna be pretty awesome. And I don't know if, uh, you know what, for, I don't know if I can actually scan this. I'm not sure if the barcode is from Amazon or not. I can't remember, but um, it didn't come in an Amazon package, but sometimes these barcodes will scan anyways. And no, it did not. But let me see if I can, uh, yeah, I didn't, I don't see it coming up. All right, let me just see if I can, let me see if I can just do a, a basic web search for it. So that's gonna be, let's see, A, T, L I E O N and let's see time lapse time lapse time lapse camera all right let's see here let's see if I can find this thing if I can pull it up and I don't see it on there. oh wait wait is this it this might be it all right let me see I think I found it here we go all right let me go ahead and pull it up and here we have it. This is it. This is the time lapse camera right there. And you can see what it looks like. It kind of it looks cool. It kind of looks like one of those little spy cameras in a sense on here. But you can see, get an idea what it looks like. It has a manual focus lens on there. And it looks like it's going to be an f2.8 lens. It has infinity focus on as macro. It says macro and infinity. So I think you might be able to actually turn this a little bit to get it focused right. Um, but you can see there it has app control, it has seven millimeter, uh, centimeter macro, remote access, time slice, infrared, multi-cam control, cinematic, uh, full HD time lapse. And you can get, a, uh, you can do different things with the time lapses. So if you were doing something like where someone was building, you can do that. Someone's uh, making a design. This looks like maybe a cake design that you can uh, record someone uh, painting or drawing. You can see here, you can do, uh, you can even do like flowers blooming. You can, uh, you can do time slice, which I'm not really sure I've ever done time slice, so I don't know, maybe I'll try something like that. Um, this looks like the kit. This is probably what I have right here. So you're gonna get the camera. It looks like there's gonna be a lens hood on there. Uh, it looks like a case on there, a memory card. Uh, looks like a tripod, a quarter 20 thread tripod adapter. I'm not sure what that is, probably the manual or something. A UV filter, a charging cable, which looks like USB-C, so big ups on them and a mini tripod, so, and of course, the camera. So, I'm really looking forward to this, to try this out. It's, uh, it looks like it's $219 for the kit right here. This is the dual battery kit right there. It looks like it's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, as many of you know, I love shooting time lapses. I just, they're, it's fun for me. It's relaxing, it's fun. It's a great way just for me to go out there and just sort of take my mind off of stuff, just veg out. Time lapses, time lapses take a long time. So if I go somewhere and I'm shooting a time lapse, I might just be sitting there for a half hour or an hour or longer. Sometimes I'll shoot multiple time lapses. Sometimes I'll shoot one at like 
two seconds, three second intervals, some of them are five second intervals, 10 second intervals. And so sometimes we're just sitting there for a long time, just staring off into space. And believe it or not, I love doing that. Sometimes you just need to stare off into space and relax. And, um, and so I'm really looking forward to trying this out because I've been thinking about doing a video on how to shoot time lapses at night so you get those nice long, uh, you know, like streaks of light. So I may see if I can do something like that with this camera. So, but I'm gonna leave this unopened because I'm going to do a actual review of this video with a, with a official unboxing. So yeah, all right, big ups on them for that. All right, let's see here. Let's see, <laughs> Sandra says, I need that camera. <laughs> what are you gonna do with this camera? Are you gonna shoot some time lapses with it? Let me know. If you are, maybe I'll see if I can get me another one for, uh, for a giveaway at some point in the future. We'll see, we'll see. All right, let's see. I just carry a box cutter, change blade as needed, easy peasy. That does work, that does work. That is one way you can do it. So uh, let's see, Sandra, uh, Sandy says, uh, Wow, I love taking pictures. That would be an awesome camera to use. So yeah, I'm hoping that it will be great. So, oh, look at this. Tim Windsor says, I have four DVD players here. Wow, wow, look at that. And Nice and Nasty says, I have my tapes and DVDs still. Big ups, people are, people are representing for the DVD crew. So yeah, all right, there you go. All right, well, let's move on. Um, let's see here. Let's move on. Let's get the next one opened up here. Let's go with this orange one. I have no idea what this orange one is, but it looks like it could be kind of fun. So let's try this orange one and uh, and see what we have inside. You guys see that? Let me do that again in case you missed it. There you go. <laughs> Love it. All right. I'm going to be flicking this knife around and, and mess around and cut myself <laughs> having fun with this thing. <laughs> But it's so sharp in that blade that the way this blade is shaped, it's so it's so stabby. It's just easy to get into these boxes. It really is. It's fantastic. All right, let's see what's, what we have in here. I don't know where this thing came from. This thing, um, but let's see. Uh-oh. I guess this package is, uh, is sealed up. So let me get back into here and see if I can cut through that and, um, and get through here. And... I think this is, it looks like, it looks like it might be, if I can actually get it out. <laughs> there we go. It looks like it is a webcam and it is. It is a, it is, it says smart live stream cam. And it's, yeah, there's not actually, it doesn't show a brand name on there actually. So I'll have to see who this is. And the model number it says it's ACM SC1 C2K. It says Smart Live Stream Cam 2K. So it's going to be a 2K um, live streaming cam at 30 frames a second with 180 degree field of view. So it's going to be a very, very wide field of view. Um, and it looks like, let's see, it's from the branding. The name on it is is uh, is. A Coco, I Coco, it's AI Coco, AI Coco. Let's go ahead and let's just do that. Let's go ahead and find their website. Let's go with AICOCO.com and bring that open. And let me go ahead and uh, let me bring open my web browser here. And there we go. And that is actually it right there. That looks like what it is right there. So we can see, let's see, let's go with products. It says uh, live cam, live um, smart live stream cam 2K. There it is. It's it's uh, $159 right here. This thing, I'll tell you, $159. This camera better perform really, really well. It better look good. <laughs> I'm telling you, this thing better really, really look good. So, but this is it. You can see there. You can angle it up. You can angle it around. It looks like there's a speaker on there, maybe as well, or maybe those are pinholes for microphones. So it looks like they're gonna get that, uh, the microphone and the speaker on there as well. This is so that you can actually mount this onto your monitor, so that um, you can may notice on the inside there it's padded, um, so that it doesn't scratch your computer. So if you have a laptop or a monitor, you can uh, you can go ahead and put that right on there. So um, that's kind of cool. And you can see even here, there is a quarter 20 thread on the back there so that you can um, you can put this on a tripod. 
and that area around there is also padded and you have a USB-C port so you can plug in and power this thing via USB-C which is very nice and universal it makes it so much easy to, easier to use something like this instead of having a proprietary uh, charging cable so anyways again this thing is a hundred and fifty nine dollars right there and um, yeah so let me do this let me um, I actually want to open this thing up I want to see what this looks like so I mean we got to see it in the video I mean on the on the computer but let's see what this thing actually looks like and feels like um, in the real world see if it feels solid sometimes you see stuff on this on the computer it looks fantastic then you get it in your hand and you're like I don't know so let's see if this thing actually feels good so let's see what we're gonna get here so all right so on there it says everyone can dream and create so there we have that looks kind of cool there and then let's open this up and that is going to be the camera right there we can see that so let's go ahead and get the camera out and see what this camera is gonna look like so all right all right look at that oh yeah look at that 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 thing folds out right there this feels a oh that's why it feels a little loose because you can actually loosen it okay i was wondering why i felt a little loose you can actually loosen that up so um i don't know if this thing needs any software or if you can just plug it in and use it but this thing you can see you might be able to see right there is you know let me see if i can get that there you can see how this adjusts so that you can get the right angle if you have it set up on your monitor um and there is a little, there's a little tab on there. I'm trying to get the little tab off of the lens because there's a little plastic cover on the lens. And let's get that off. There we go. Now we have that off. I'm curious. I don't know if I need any software or if I can just use this thing. Let's see if I, let's see if there's, um, let's see if there's the cable inside. I'm curious if I can just hook this thing up right now and try it out. So um, it looks like, oh man. You know, it looks like there's a USB-A to USB-C, and I need a USB-C to USB-C. Let me see if I can take one of my USB-Cs to USB-Cs on here. Let me see if I plug this in, and I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it and see what happens with this thing. It may it may work, and it might be a complete fail. Now, if my stream cuts off, you guys got to just hold on a second while I try and get it back up and run it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, hold on, let's see. I think this thing, oh, transmit would like to access, hold on, let's hit don't allow, we don't need that to have, oh, look, I think it's already working, hold on, let me, hold on a sec, I'm gonna, let me see, if, it's not, it's not mounted on here right, but I'm gonna, let me go ahead, and there we go, that is the camera right there working, it's not mounted onto my uh, laptop properly, but it is definitely on there somehow, let me see if I can get this thing turned around, and let's see, let me mount it right, I think this goes, I'm not sure how we get that going. I'll have to figure that out to get that going. But this is, oh, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> well, this is it right here. And you can make the adjustment and you can move this up and down and you guys can get a little behind the scenes peek. You can see my, my messy office. I have stuff everywhere, all over the place over here. So I have boxes and, and that's my little workstation over there that I'm going to redo in the next week. Behind me, I have my, uh, you can see my, uh, my bike over there. So I have my, uh, my, um, my stationary bike and then some places where I store stuff. So, and then this is my pile of, uh, pile of products I need to get reviewed over there. So yeah, but this is the camera and we can see that it actually works well. It looks, to me, it looks pretty good. It looks clean. Um, I think the white balance is off a bit. So I may have to figure out what it's up with the white balance because it doesn't look, um, it doesn't look balanced properly, but it does look pretty good so far from what I can see. I'd have to play with this thing. So, all right, let me go back to my regular camera here. <laughs> so there we go. It does work. So shout out to them. And I like the fact that I was able to just go USB-C to USB-C with just a regular old cable. I didn't need anything particularly special to make that work. That was, that was actually really nice. So, all right, let me just set all this off to the side and uh and we'll get to this stuff later i'll put all this stuff back together later and uh let me just set this over here but that was that was big ups to them so there we go and again this thing is a hundred and fifty nine dollars and i have to say if you're looking for a webcam um 
I mean, it looks good. I can't complain about the quality. I've seen some of these webcams that people put out and they look like trash. This does not. This actually looks really quite good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. So big ups to them. All right, let me go ahead and uh, let's move on to the uh, let's move on to the next one here. So, let's see who else do we have in the building. We have Gregorio about that's in the house. He says yes. He says usually plug and play. Yep. So it was. We have uh, Gigi it says nice lighting. Thank you, Gigi. I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, we have Carl Bingsley in the house. Says hello, Larry. Shout out to you. Um, Tom McCann still in the house. See you. Big ups to you. Um, let's see. Gigi says new knife day. Yes, it is. It is new knife day. I have an automatic. <laughs> now I can't really go anywhere else with this thing. Cause I think I can carry it here in the state of Virginia. But if I decide I want to go to like DC, I can't take it with me cause you can't carry automatics in DC as far as I know. I think that's the case. So, but, um, so yeah. So anyways, there you go. All right, let me, uh, let me open up. This one feels kind of light. You know, there's two of these boxes that looked exactly the same. I don't know what's in there, but I'm gonna open up one of them. Let me open up one of these long ones first and see what's in here and, and see if it's anything fun. And let's see, let's get this thing open. Whoop, there we go. See, this way you have to be careful with these knives because you mess around and cut yourself. But these things, I love knives when they come straight from, uh, when they come fresh straight out of the box because the factory sharpens these things up so, so sharp. It's absolutely amazing. So, uh oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. We have a wireless mic and keyboard set, a multi device wireless mic and keyboard. And uh, look at that. Look at that. That is nice right there. And I don't know who this is from. Let me see. There's some of these times. I really wish these brands would put more uh, branding on their stuff. It's like, I want to know who this stuff is from as soon as I get it out of the box. You know? So, oh, there we go. We finally have something coming up. This is from Art Artis, Artisy. I believe that's how it is. Art, Art Society. Art Society. So, anyways, Art Society, I think it is. Let me see if I can... Uh, let me see if I can pull open their, um, let me see if I can pull open their, their listing here and show it to you. And so here we go. Let me go ahead and, uh, and bring open my web browser there. And here it is. So we can see here, this is a wireless keyboard and mouse combo from Art Society, I believe it is. Rechargeable dual mode, Bluetooth 5.0 times two, four, uh, plus four point, um, 2.4 G full size keyboard and mouse set silent ultra slim compact design for Mac iPad um, iPhone Android Windows and it's in black so um, yeah and actually right here it shows it's $56.99 but you can also get another an additional 15% off right now if you use this coupon which will make it a little bit cheaper there so um, but we can see here that um, we can see here that you can use this not just with your computer, you can use this with your phone. Um, you can use this hooking it up to multiple devices at the same time. Um, so if you wanted to hook it up, you can have your laptop and a tablet all going in together there, as you can see. So that's, that looks really nice. You have uh, Type-C rechargeable uh, charging, so you can charge this up to, um, you can charge up your laptop and your mouse. You don't have to worry about putting in AA batteries or anything like that. Um, it says universal keyboard for, uh, for four systems. So it looks like it's going to work for all the major systems. Only thing I don't see on here is Linux, but, um, maybe you can use it with that as well. Um, you have a scissor switch, uh, scissor switch keys. So the scissor switch keys, I believe are like the Mac's keyboard, the old Mac's, I think, or no, the current Mac. I think the previous Mac were like the butterfly keyboard. I think the scissor switch are the ones that are currently in use. Um, so then you can see it's full size and you have a mouse as well. And so you can see how it's going to look if you have it on your desktop there. So yeah, this thing looks pretty nice. And you know, let's see, $56.99. So let's see, what is 10% of that? It's going to be $560, uh, $570, something like that, plus another half of that. So you can get this thing for, you can get this thing for about, for about 47, 48 bucks, something like that. So not bad, not bad at all. And uh, let's, you know, let's do this. Let's open this thing up and see 
Let's see what this thing actually looks like. Let's see what it actually looks like. And, oh, look at that. First of all, big ups to them. It actually has a cover. You may see that there's actually a cover on there as well that you can put on top of the keyboard. So these covers are nice when you put these on top of your keyboard because if you get spill something on there, it keeps all that off there. Also, when, if it gets dusty, you just simply take this thing off and wash this off and your keyboard still nice and clean. So, but if you don't want it, you know, you have just the keyboard right here. And um, let's see, let's get this thing out a little bit. It says it has butterfly keys on there. Let's see what that, let's see what these keys actually feel like. Let's see if these keys feel like, uh, if they feel, or no, not butterfly keys, scissor keys. They have scissor keys. So let's see what the scissor keys. Oh yeah, these, this feels good. It actually feels like my, uh, it feels like I'm on my Mac. That's what it feels. It feels like I'm on my MacBook because it feels good like that. So, yeah. Now you may see here it is a full size keyboard, so it does have the all the regular keys. It also has the um, the numbers over here, so that you can you can if you're someone who's doing a lot of mathematical stuff, you can do all of that over there. So has your all of your um, all of your F1 through F6 keys up there as well. Your print lock. Print screen, pause, insert home, page up, page down, all that good stuff there. So yeah, big ups. This thing it looks uh, this thing looks really nice. Um, let's see here. Let's uh, let's go ahead. Let me put this thing back on here for a second. Let's just get that back on there, and let's just set that right there for a second. Let's see what this mouse looks like. So. Here is the mouse. The mouse is nice, it's a little bit smaller than I expected, but it has this nice texture. On the side, I don't know if you guys can see that, on the sides right here, this is rubber. This is rubber right there, so it's a really grippy, it's a really grippy mouse. That is really, really nice. It's super grippy, and uh, that's, I don't know if this thing needs a dongle. I don't think it does. I think it's, I think it might just be Bluetooth. So, yeah, I don't see any dongles. The only thing I see is just, um, there is a charging cable and that's just about it. But it, they, uh, yeah, this is dope. And it looks like you might be able to hook this up to, it looks like three different things. I see a couple on the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom. You can see there, it looks like there's three different, um, you know, things there. So you can push the button and light different stuff up. So yeah, all right. Shout out to them. That looks really pretty cool. I like this a lot. Um, and again, we can get this thing. This thing is going to cost you right now. It's showing fifty six ninety nine, but you can actually get it again a little bit cheaper if you add that fifteen percent off coupon on Amazon. So big ups to them on that. I like that a lot. So I'm kind of curious now, um, since this other box looks exactly the same shape. I'm wondering, like, did I receive two of these things? I'm kind of curious now. If I did, I was going to wait to open this one, but let me go ahead and. Uh, and see if this is going to be um, if this is going to be the same thing in there because if it is, well, you guys know how I roll. But it's not. This is <laughs> this is a portable cordless electric coffee grinder. Look at that. <laughs> this is the Alten. USB charging, cordless, conical burrs, auto stop, one key operation, five level grinding, coffee grinder. This is a portable coffee grinder. It says it has a massive 1600, and, uh, 1600 milliamp hour battery. It has uh, extra 30 gram bean capacity and portable design. So you can see that there so that you can get all kinds of stuff and you can, this thing's gonna last a long time with that battery and you can put a lot of beans in there and you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like on the side as it's sort of disassembled and you can see what it looks like when it is all together. But since we have it here, let's go ahead and let's see, let me see if I can scan this, this uh, barcode and I've been able to get it. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can pull this thing up and, um, and see what it's gonna cost and see if we can get some more specs on it and Let's see here. This thing is going to be $39.99 and you can save an extra 10%. So that's going to be about an extra four bucks off. So you can get this for about $35. So not bad at all. So 
Um, we can see here, it looks like you're going to have, um, it says internal grind settings. Uh, it says it's not going to be bulkier. Oh, it doesn't have internal grind settings. It says that's why the other ones have. They're going to have um, external grind settings, which makes it easier to access. It's portable and lightweight. So if you're traveling, you can take your coffee, uh, get your own grinding on. It's hands-free and it's uh, burr is even, uh, it says burr even powder. So um, there you go. And then we can kind of get an idea of what that looks like there. So you can grind and put it in a, in a jar if you wanted to grind and then uh, store your stuff away so you don't have to grind it every time you want to use your coffee. Get some coffee. You can see uh, the size of it there. Again, there, there you go. You can get an idea. It says automatic and hands-free. It says uh, conical ceramic uh, burr. And yeah, so, all right, let's do this though. I want to actually, because again, this thing's only 39 bucks. I want to see what this actually um, looks like. So let's see if I can, I don't even think I need that. The, uh, the knife thing, it just opens up. Let's, let's get this thing out of there. And I know there's some people out there that are serious, serious coffee heads. So first of all, shout out to them for the bag and the presentation. This is nice. If you're getting this to, for someone as a gift, this, you know what this would make? This would make a really nice Father's Day gift. There's a lot of people out there that are some serious, serious coffee con uh, connoisseurs. And this would make a really nice, uh, you know, um, Father's Day gift. This is glass. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting all this to be plastic, but I was like, this is quite heavy. And this is actually glass. This, oh, this is it. This is the jar. So this is where, when you grind it, everything is going to go into here. So this is really nice. You can get an idea of what that's going. Let me see if I can get myself out of focus. And there you go. You can see what that's going to look like. And this is going to go and screw right into there. You can see here it's going to have the, um, as I mentioned, it has the external grinding setting. So you can have that right there. And that's going to... Uh, that's going to help you pick the right grind for you. And then you may notice also up front here, you have the, um, you have the USB-C uh, charging port and you, have the, uh, and you have the power button and the, uh, and the lights there, the indicator lights up there. So yeah, big up. So let me see, let's turn this thing. Oh yeah, as soon as you turn it on, it starts going right away. So shout out to them, wow. And it looks like you can lock this and unlock it right up front as well. So I think this, let's see, if I go unlock it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That's so easy to take apart. This thing is super easy to take apart and put back together. And yeah, so you just put this in there. Let's see. Let me get that back in there. Let's see if I put it. And, and then, am I put it? Oh, yeah. I already had it locked. Oh, no, I didn't have it locked down. There's, there's another piece. Looks like you can unlock this part as well. So, man, this whole thing is like is like easy to uh, assemble and disassemble. So, all right, let's get this thing back in. We'll lock that bottom part there and then we'll lock the top part there. And, uh-oh. <laughs> well, maybe it's not as easy to, to reassemble as I thought it was. I think I, I think I don't have it in the right position. I think there is a, here it is. I think this is what it is. Let me see if I get that in there. All right, now I think I have it in. Okay, now it's locked in. There's there's a little section on there where you need to uh, you need to make sure it's lined up before you get this thing completely locked in properly. So, um, and then it has a little a little cleaning brush. You may see there it has a little cleaning brush and a USB C cable in there as well, so that you can charge the device up. So. Yeah, big ups to them. Oh, there's even a cleaning cloth in there if you need a little microfiber cleaning cloth in there as well. So, very nice. I'll tell you, this would make a really, really fantastic um, Father's Day gift. I think somebody out there, somebody's dad is going to really love this if you get if you get them this because there's a lot of people out there that love their coffee. That's like some people that is like their one sort of like major splurge in life is to have nice coffee daily and um and so having a grinder like this could be really really handy so sometimes people don't want those big gigantic grinders that you know take up a lot of space and and are just sort of they're nice and they're really effective but not everybody wants one of those taking up a bunch of space so having a portable grinder like this can be very very handy and this is the outen um the outen portable coffee grinder and again let me just uh let me just show you again right quick 
This is what it is on Amazon. You can get it for $39.99 and it has a 10% off uh, coupon right now that you can use if you want to go ahead and grab one uh, right now. So, all right, there we go. Well, we only have a couple of packages left. We have three packages left, so I'm gonna let you guys choose. I have a, uh, I have a bag, I have a small box, and a medium-sized box. I'm gonna let you guys decide. I'm gonna see who up there is going to uh, is gonna choose which one I open up next. If somebody super chats me, someone can super chat me and they get bumped to the front of the line as far as who's gonna get, you know, you can choose whatever one you want or all three of them. We'll just see if anybody decides they wanna super chat. But if not, you can just tell me which one. Uh, somebody can throw tell me which one and I'll see if I wanna open that package. Um, let's see, somebody asked, uh, Gigi asked, I wonder if it grinds herbs and spices too. That is an excellent question. I don't know, but I imagine it probably could. I mean, I don't know if anything's gonna get stuck in there, but I imagine that it probably could grind herbs and spices. So yeah, you know, I mean, you might wanna clean it out before you use it with coffee and so you don't have coffee, you know, like sage flavored coffee or something or, you know, or oregano flavored coffee or whatever. But uh, yeah, so let's see here. Pedro says the small box. Uh oh, Uncle Kev says finally made it. Uh, all right, there you go. Uh, let's see, uh, Pedro says small box. Gregorio says small box. Uh, uh, Cherokee Rose says big box. Big Tim Windsor says big box. All right, let's do this. Since Big Tim Windsor hit me with a super chat earlier, I'm gonna give him the, I'm gonna give him the honor of picking this one. We'll go with the big box, and then we'll go either with the small box or the, or the bag uh, after that. So let's go ahead, let's get this one open, and let's see what we have inside of here. And let's see here. This, I still have to get used to this knife. It's nice. It's a bit bigger than what I'm used to, but it's nice. All right, let's see what we have. And this is going to be, uh, oh. <laughs> this is from, uh, this is from Manscaped. Big ups to Manscaped. They sent me out, um, they sent me out a pair of boxers, a pair of boxer briefs, and they sent me out a, uh, a t-shirt. And let me see if I can just take these, uh, let me see if I can take the, uh, the boxer briefs out of here and show you guys. So here we go. These are the boxer briefs right there. And uh, let's see, yeah, so there they go. You can see it says Manscaped on there. So that's nice. On the back of there also, it says uh, Manscaped on there. And they're, they're, uh, they're cotton. They feel really nice, actually. They feel really nice. So. They have a nice size pouch up front for your junk so you're not feeling all uh, cooped up and everything. So big ups to them. I'm about to, I'm about to put, should I put them on right now? No, no, no. I'm not putting these things on right now. <laughs> all right. Oh, let's see here. We have, we have Travis Looney in the building with the $10 super chat. Shout out to Travis Looney. Big ups, he says, did I miss everything? Yeah, you kind of missed mostly everything, man, but it's all good. We still have, we still have two boxes left. So you haven't missed everything, but you have, we have about two boxes left. So let me, um, let me give you this. Let me give, uh, let me give Travis Looney this one. We'll go, we'll go a little, uh, we'll go a little political on him today. Let's give him this one right here. I observed for as long as I could that leaders have been assassinated. Communities flooded with drugs and weapons. They are overly policed and incarcerated. There we go. I like that one. I like that. That's from Black Panther. Now, if you guys haven't known, Black Panther 2 is getting ready to drop soon. So that movie should be out this summer, I believe. And hopefully it's good. I don't know. But shout out to him for making the movie. All right. So back to this with Manscaped. So Manscaped sent this t-shirt along as well. And uh, let me just go ahead and open it up. Let's see here. Let's open this thing up see what it looks like and this is a, a large which actually might fit me now I used to always tell everybody extra large but since I've lost some weight you know there we go so we can see on the front it says extra large it says manscaped or it's large excuse me it says manscaped your balls will thank you <laughs> and then on the back again it says manscaped your balls will thank you so <laughs> now for those of you who don't know 
Manscaped actually is, uh, Manscaped actually makes uh, male grooming products so that we can keep our stuff nice and, uh, nice and intact there. So let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can pull open, um, let me see if I can find a uh, Manscaped uh, shaver here. I did a, I did an unboxing of one. I did a, I had one on my, um, one of my weekly haul videos a while back, but let me go ahead and show you. And I need to, I need to use one and, and see what I think about it. Um, but here it is. This is the electric groin hair trimmer. And so this is designed specifically for your groin area so that you don't cut your sack when you're, uh, when you're using it. You can see there, it says electric groin hair trimmer, the lawnmower 4.0 replaceable skin safe ceramic blade heads, waterproof wet, dry clear, wet dry clippers, rechargeable, uh, wireless charging, ultimate male hygiene razor. So yeah, you can see right there what it looks like. And that is the charging base right there. And that is their symbol, which is kind of funny. And then uh, you can get an idea, like sort of a side view, you can see what it looks like in the box. It's IPX7 rated so that it's, uh, it is wet dry. It says for up to 30 minutes. And you can see there, that's what the, uh, what the blades look like there. And then that's everything that comes in the kit. And then there's a little video, which we're not going to play right now. But yeah, so this is the Lawnmower 4.0 that you can get. And they do have some other products that you can get. So there's other things like, um, like some of their uh, hygiene products, like their shaving stuff there. Um, if you want to get some of this stuff, so, you know, like some of the, uh, the shave gel and the expo uh, uh, exfoliator all that good stuff. It looks like they even have a, an actual razor on there that you can use. And maybe that's where you're, um, if you're shaving your face. So yeah, they have some, uh, they have some, definitely have some cool stuff. So um, their, their lawnmower, which is their main product, it looks like it's $86.99 right now. And I don't, yeah, so I was gonna say, I don't think there's any discounts on it right now, but um, yeah, that's kind of awesome looking. So there's all kinds of good stuff in there that you can use. They have the Toolbox 4.0, so you can get all kinds of different stuff if you want to use their Toolbox. That's going to give you all kinds of male grooming stuff, so you can get, um, you know, like there's going to be scissors and nail files and tweezers and t it looks like, uh, you know, fingernail clippers. You also get a traditional shaver. This is going to be a nose trimmer right there, and then you have the lawnmower so that you can, uh, so that you can get your, your stuff shaved up properly. So, yeah. So that's gonna be ear and nose. Then again, that's the shears, 2.0 luxury nail kit, the plow, which is a single blade razor. So, and then you have a premium travel bag to put everything in. And so this, this would make also a very nice um, Father's Day gift. So if you're looking for something for Father's Day, that's a really nice option uh, for you. So yeah, all right. Let's see, Sandra <laughs> says, how are you going to review the boxers? I don't know. Just have to wait and see. No, I'm not sure if I am. I think I, I I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, I think I might review the lawnmower when I, I, I do have it somewhere. I just need to pull it out. Um, <laughs> Evil Witch says, funny shirt. There you go. Uh, yeah, there you go. Pedro said you showed, showed it on your Christmas gift ideas. So there you go. Big ups. Yeah, I showed it then. I, was, I know it had been a long time. So, but um, all right. Let's set this off to the side. Shout out to uh, shout out to Vanscape for sending that out. I appreciate it. Um, we have two things left, so we're, let's go with the box. Some of, some people said the uh, big box. Other people said the small box. So we will open up the, uh, the small box, and then and then after this, I think we only have one thing left, which is this uh, which is this uh, bag over here. So. You know, I did get a notification that I had a package delivered, but I don't know if I, um, I don't know if it was like a late one or came in. I may have to go check before I, before we get out of here, but so I can see what we have. So, all right, let's see here. Um, this is going to be the We Light, the We Light SO5 Coral Series. This is, uh, this one is in glazed blue and we can see that right there. This is going to be in glazed blue, and this is going to be a little video light. So, shout out to them. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can bring this one open here, and let me see if I can scan this thing and uh, and bring it open. If I'll have any luck with the barcode, and I'm not having any luck right now. Oh, there we go. All right, it came open. Let's see if I can pull this up for you guys so that we can check it out. And let's see here. There we go. Let me go ahead and 
pull this thing up on. There we go. All right. So there we go. I went ahead and uh, pulled this up. You can see this is a, a five watt app controlled RGB and, uh, and white, white, I guess it is, um, full color, bicolor uh, camera light for video, for video photography, YouTube, TikTok, vlog, live streaming, and yeah. So this thing is $29.99, so that's not too bad. You can get an idea of what this looks like right there. And um, you can see that it's gonna have all kinds of different colors that you can use. We'll go ahead, you can see there that it does, it is app controlled, so you can select the different colors in the app. And you can see someone using it there, so the way that it, the, some of the possibilities that you have with it. And it's looking like it's, it's very small, I can already see from the box. So there you go, you can use multiple lights together if you want. This one they're showing three lights together. And um, this is everything that comes in the box. You're gonna get the, uh, the light, you're gonna get a, uh, a quarter 20 thread cold shoe mount, and you're going to get a, it looks like a USB-C cable, which is very good if that's the case, because um, for a long time, I've, I've had Wii Light come in, and I've tested a number of Wii Lights, and Wii Light has, um, they have often used micro USB, which has always been a sort of a thing I've complained about with their light. So let's, but let's get this thing opened up, and let's see, Let's see um, what it's going to look like. It's nice and small. One thing I can tell I love is nice small lights because sometimes you want to uh, take a light with you but you don't want a big massive thing. And so this looks like it's going to be nice. So we're going to get a, uh, again, we're going to get a USB-C cable there. So that's nice. We're going to get a, uh, a quarter 20 thread cold shoe adapter on here so that you can, uh, you can mount this light to something. So there is that. And then we are going to get the light itself. And the light is very nice. It's, it's, it's like, it's plastic, but it's got some weight to it. It definitely feels um, solid. So we can see right there what that's going to look like. And then we can, uh, we can see that's the front panel on the side. It looks like that's where you're gonna have your, your charging. And it looks like some venting to keep it cool. So yeah, on the bottom, you may see there's a quarter 20 thread mount there. So. Basically the way this works, you can go ahead and screw this in and then you can uh, you can get this thing. You, know, you wanna line it up right so that you get it there and then you can tighten this down. And now you can mount this onto the top of your camera or onto a, uh, a cold shoe of some sort. And now let's see, let's, let's see, I don't know if there's any juice in here. Let's find out. Oh yeah, the buttons feel nice. Nice screen on the back there, so we can see there. So it's flickering a little bit on here because uh, because of my frame rate, but it's not flickering in real life. And then let's see, if we have to move this up. Let's see if we can get this, uh, let's see if we can change the mode a little bit so we can get this thing going. Huh, I'm not getting any light yet. Let's see, I don't want the, I don't wanna worry about the channels. I just wanna get the, I just wanna get some, some light going. And I don't see, all right, I might have to figure this thing out. Let me see if I can get some, uh, yeah, nothing, all right? Huh, I'm not getting any light at all yet. That's weird. That is very weird. I don't know why I'm not getting any light yet. All right, yeah, I may have to, I may have to play with this thing and figure out what's going on with it because I'm not getting any, any light at all off of this. So, well, that's, that's not a good way to start things off. <laughs> that is definitely not a good way to start things off with uh, testing it out. I think this thing might, it might have some issues. It might not be working. There's definitely juice in there. If you can see right there, it says that it has a full battery. You can see right over here, it says it has a full battery in there but I'm not getting any sort of light out of this thing at all. So um, yeah. Oh wait, let's see, let's try that. Let's see, up data, I don't know what that's gonna do. On, off, no. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, that's disappointing. I mean, you should be able to literally take a light, turn it on, and it just works, and this one's not working. So I'm gonna set that off to the side right now, and I'm gonna leave it there, and uh, I'll have to play with it later and see if it works, but I can't really, say anything else about it right now because, well, it's not working, so. All right, 
Last thing we have here is uh, is a bag, and usually I open all these bags up early, but this one somehow made it to the end. And so let's see what we have. And this is going to be, <laughs> look at that. We have another knife. And this one is the SOG Terminus XR G10 folding knife. And this has a, G10, a G10 handle and a D2 steel blade, um, blade steel. It says D2 steel blade, but I, I say blade steel. And it says designed in Seattle. It has ambidextrous XR locks. And look at that. That is the knife right there. And we can see on the back where it shows where it has the ambidextrous, um, you know, opening there. And this thing is, it's, it's kind of cool because it looks like there's three different ways you can open it. It looks like there's the, the access lock or XR lock as they call it. And then it looks like there's also the um, flipper and then also the thumb stud. So, you know what, let me do this. Let me see if I can get this thing open. And I don't even know how you're supposed to open this thing. This is not like some easy opening package. They, <laughs> well, let me do this. Let me see if I can scan it first. And let's see here. Let me see if anything uh, comes up from the barcode. I'm not sure if anything will. Nope, I'm not getting anything. But I did get this, if I'm not mistaken, this did come from Blade HQ. So let me see if I can pull it open. And let me just search for, let me see here. Let me pull open my web browser. And let me search for SOG Terminus XR. There we go. And this looks like it right here. And there we go. Normally it's $54.95, or excuse me, it's usually $59.95, but it's uh, right now it's on sale, or this is their, that's the MSRP, but you can get it for $54.95 through them. It looks like it's gonna have an overall length of seven inches, blade length is three inches, which is key because some jurisdictions, a lot of jurisdictions have a maximum of three inches length, blade length that you can have. So that's important. Um, it is D2 steel, has a drop point blade, and it's stone, uh, flat grind, and it's a stone wash finish, and it weighs 3.2, uh, 3.32 ounces, so it's not too heavy. So. Um, it has a deep carry pocket clip on here, it looks like. Um, we can see there. And yeah, all right. This looks like a pretty nice knife. Um, I'm going to have two knives in, in one day. This is great because this knife I can actually carry with me everywhere if I want to. And I don't know how I'm going to get this thing open. Let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can cut this from the back here. And let's see if I can get this thing open from the back. And because they don't make this packaging very um, very user friendly like this is not like <laughs> like the box is the box is the is fantastic that box was super easy to get into but this thing is extraordinarily like you can't like this thing if you've ever had to return it you just have to send them back scraps of of the of the packaging and it's not the safest box to open. Like they should have that whole blade covered. Instead, it's like just the tip of it is covered. But all right, there we go. This is kind of nice. So there we go. That is it. It has, let's see, that has it. Oh, look at that. Because it has that, um, it has a, it has an ax, a, a locking system that's similar to my Benchmade. So um, we can see here, this is, the, the green one there is my Benchmade, and this one is the SOG, but it has a similar locking system. The Benchmade invented it, they call it the access lock, but um, SOG has one, they call it the XR lock. And, um, and so let's see. Yeah, you can flick this thing open and shut it right close. So you can flick it open with the, um, you can flick it open with the uh, thumb studs right there. You just grab that, get in there, and it flicks right open, and you can shut it quickly with the access lock. Or you can hold these two down right here. You can hold these, um, you can hold that down and then you can flick it up. And that one takes a little bit more practice because you have to get it right at the top. But you can flick it open like that. And then on top of that, it actually has a, a flipper right here that you can use so that you can flip that. Now this one might need to be, it needs to be broken in a little bit. Because if you see like when I hit that flipper, it, it, it opens, but it's like not super snappy. 
like that's gonna take some that's gonna take some breaking in to get this thing really going. So, you know, some like this one, like when I when I got my bench made, my bench made was the same way, and I actually went in because you may notice there that there is actually a a small right there. There's a small Allen uh, Allen key or Allen uh, screw right there. I was actually able to go in and just loosen it up a little bit so that this thing really flies open. But um, I'm gonna have to. I'm probably just gonna have to work this one open, just work it a bit, and just use it so that it actually. Um, <clears throat> So that it actually works. But this thing is a super, super deep carry pocket clip, if you guys can see that. Let me actually just, let me see. Let me just go ahead and put it in my pocket. And let me just put that, let me see if I can get this thing in there. That is super tight, man. But yeah, that is, that is very deep carry. Like you don't see the knife at all. You All you see is just the little clip. You don't see any of the knife at all. That is, that's awesome. But it is tough to get out. That pocket clip is super tight. That is super, super tight. And yeah, it's just gonna take a little bit of getting used to it to break this thing in, but it looks it looks and feels really, really comfortable in the hand. I like this. This is my this is probably gonna be my my new uh, sort of everyday carry knife for a little while. So all right. That's it. That is the um, that is the SOG terminus. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, I've been talking for like an hour and a half. I'm losing my voice. Hmm. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Well, I have three knives on the table now. I have my uh, my OG knife, my Benchmade Mini Freak. This is the limited ed edition with the uh, with the um, jade handles. <clears throat> my new Boker uh, Boker Plus Strike with the uh, with the uh, what you call it? I forgot the. Um, with the buoy shaped, uh, the buoy shaped blade. This is D2 steel, and it has, uh, and it's an automatic there. And then I have my SOG, uh, my SOG Terminus. Um, I think this. What was this? Was this the XR Terminus XR G10? So yes, this is the uh, SOG Terminus XR G10. And it's going to take a little bit of breaking in to get this thing really going. So yeah, I have a little bit of luck with the finger flip, but it's going to take a little bit with the actual flipper. To get this thing going so yeah all right well everyone that's it that was a lot i shouldn't even say that's it that's everything that is a lot this was uh this was a much bigger haul video you know what in fact let me do this because i saw i got a package coming let me just run and check right quick and see if i got anything and then um and see if i actually received anything and if i did then i will come back and let you know right quick so let me just uh, let me just go ahead and uh, let me see if I let me see. Hold on a second. Let me uh, let me see if I can find uh, whatever. Anyway, just give me a quick sec. I'll be right back and let me see if I got one last package that came in. And if I did, I'll, I'll open it up for you. So. No package. I guess it was a phantom message. All right, stepping over stuff. I guess it was a phantom message. So um, I'll have to wait and see what we get next week. But I have to say, I am more than pleased about what came through this week. So I am happy with it. And uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who came through and showed up and uh, and showed out. I appreciate you. Um, you know. Sandra says, it's all in the wrist, Larry. It's all in the wrist. There you go. So, <laughs> says, you could do a West Side Story audition with those knives. You know? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh, man. So, there you go. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for showing up. Um, uh oh, let's see. She says, yeah, it has a blade. It says, yeah, it has blade open already. So hazardous as well. Yeah, I don't like that with the blade open already. I wish that blade was closed the way it came in. So let's see. Let's see. Pick it up. Uh, pick it back into the mailbox. Let's see. SOG, son of a gun. Let's see. All right. Yeah. So, all right, everyone. I'm out. 
I'm about to go eat some dinner, drink something because my throat is giving out on me. <laughs> so it has been fun and uh, I will have all kinds of great videos coming up, but I will see you guys live next week because, well, oh, actually, you know what? If you want to see me live again, come to tomorrow to Lamont's channel because Lamont and I are going to be live on his channel tomorrow night talking about P-Valley and if I can convince him, talk about The Boys as well. I don't know if any of you watch The Boys on uh, Amazon Prime, but we'll be on there live talking about P-Valley tomorrow. So if you want to come through, check us out. I think we'll be on around 9 o'clock. So there you go. All right, everyone, it's been real. Thank you so much for coming through and showing up and showing out. And thank you to my super chatters. I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Shout out to, uh, to Tim Windsor and to Travis Looney and to somebody else. Who was the one that hit me with the $2 super chat? I feel, I feel bad. I, wanna, I don't want to forget anybody, so I'm going to go back and scroll through and, um, and make sure that I get the name. Oh, Mendels. Mendels Photography. Thank you so much, Mendels, for the $2 super chat. I big ups and I appreciate you. So, all right, everyone, I'm out. And, um, and let me just give you one more thing before I get up out of here. How about this one? What's up? I am not dead. All that challenge shit is over with.